brisket, one of my favorite meats of all time. And when you think brisket, you normally think it's gonna take a while, but that's just not the case. Especially when you're like me and you've got pressure cookers on hand. Obviously I've got a problem. And one thing that people forget about brisket is it doesn't have to just come from beef. Here I've got three different briskets. I've got an elk brisket, traditional beef brisket, and a bison brisket. And I'm gonna cook all three of them to show you the difference. But before we get into that, let's talk about the briskets really quick. Starting with elk. So elk is gonna be the leanest brisket you get. Next, you've got a traditional beef brisket. This is gonna be your fattiest and most dense brisket. This is gonna give you that traditional brisket flavor. Last up is your bison brisket. I say bison brisket is right between elk brisket and beef brisket. It's not gonna be too fatty, but it's still gonna have a lot of fat on it. That's gonna give it that extra flavor. Each one of these is about three and a half pounds. I'm gonna cut them down to be about two pounds each. I'm gonna season all of them the exact same, throw all of them in their pressure cookers, and cook each one of them for about 75 minutes to an hour and a half. And I'm gonna let the natural pressure release, give them about 10 minutes to rest, then we'll cut each one of them up, show you what they look like, and give them a taste test. Each one of these bags is gonna have a ton of juice in it, which is a ton of flavor. So make sure that you keep the juice and put it in the pressure cooker to cook along with it. Starting with our elk, we're gonna cut it right in half. Now moving on to our beef brisket. Really quick, just to compare these two, let's show you the thickness. So that right there is your beef brisket, and that is your elk brisket. And also, really quick comparing the two, you can see that the elk brisket has a lot more dense red color than the beef. One thing that you can't see, but you'll notice when you get a bison brisket is it's a lot more dense than the other two, but just an absolutely beautiful cut of meat. Now that all of our briskets have been trimmed down to pretty much the exact same size, we're gonna season them and get the process going. A cool part about brisket is you can season them however you want to. You can go a deep, rich barbecue flavor, all the way down to a sweet, smoky garlic flavor. My favorite flavors are normally like a barbecue garlic smoky flavor, but I also like to have a little bit of charcoal on there. With brisket, I found you really wanna season them heavily. And let's say you're prepping this ahead of time. You can actually make a marinade in this guy and let it sit overnight, and it's gonna give it even more of an in-depth flavor. Now our meat is all seasoned and ready to go, so we're gonna transfer them over to the pressure cookers, fill them with a little bit of water, and get them set. All right, so we have our three pressure cookers here. Always make sure with brisket that your fat cap is pointing up. Now what I'm gonna do is fill each one of these up with some water. Since I've got different sized pressure cookers here though, I'm gonna make sure that they come up to the same amount of water on each one. So they are all ready to go, now we're gonna cap them. So now I've got each one of them set for an hour and 20 minutes. We're gonna fire them all up, let them go, we'll naturally let the pressure come down, and then we're gonna take them out and see how they look. So all these were in the pressure cooker for an hour and 15 minutes. Now they're out, we're gonna tempt them and we're gonna let them rest. I'm actually gonna let these guys rest for about 25 minutes, let all those juices kind of come back together and then we're gonna cut each one of them and show you the final product. These have been resting for about 20 minutes now, so we're gonna start here with the elk. It's not surprising to me that it's not as juicy as the other ones, but it is definitely tender and it will just rip apart right in your hands. So this is the beef one, and it's kind of funny, the fat actually kind of accordioned out a little bit and expanded, it's still gonna be terrific. Absolutely beautiful piece of meat. As you can see, it is just drooling all over me. And last but not least, we have our bison. That is unreal. So you have our elk brisket, our beef brisket, and our bison brisket. But what would this video be without a taste test? Go ahead, start with our elk. And I've never had elk brisket before, but it tastes just like a regular brisket. There's not that elk kind of gamey taste to it. But let's move on to the beef. That's our beef brisket. No surprise, it tastes like brisket. Duh. Absolutely phenomenal, extremely tender. I think I'd throw some barbecue sauce on it, throw it under the broiler, get a little bit of a crisp on it and that little bit of sweetness. But like I said earlier, this is just a quick method of cooking for you and your family. Now let's move on to the bison. The glisten. The bison is a little tougher to me. I think if I would have done all of these a little bit differently, I would have cooked them a little bit less and let them come up to temperature a little bit more, but absolutely phenomenal. So simple, so easy, all great choices, but you cannot go wrong with any of these. Very quick method, throw it in the pressure cooker and you are going to love every bite of this and your family will as well.